Pretty much everyone can agree at this point that martial arts is pretty much the best thing that happened in the world. But what are some of the best and worst things in martial arts? The sounds that come with them. So today we're gonna do is I'm going to make a tier list of the best to the worst sounds in all of martial arts. I will be evaluating these sounds strictly based off of wherever I want to put them. And before we go on any further, it's important that you guys know that this video is sponsored by Hydra Gun. So stick around to hear a message about the Hydra Gun later. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first sound that is like mwah, mwah, just the, the crispest, nicest sound. It's gonna have to be the brake fall. Just like a body so quietly going through the air. And then the nice slap of the arm of a good brake fall, the body hitting the ground, the gi hitting the ground, whatever it is. It, there's just something so satisfying about it. Also, the completion of the technique. It means that you like successfully pulled off the technique when someone hits the ground like that. Like a big clunky, dun -dun 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 -dun, like rolling brake fall. That's it. <laughs> No, go, 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 get down, go, go. I learned that in three ninjas. Means that you didn't successfully do what you wanted to do, or at least not in like a pretty way. Break fall, it's gotta be way up there. I mean, I maybe should have started with a more average one, but I think we're gonna go break fall at B tier, B for break fall. Now we're gonna move into the karate sphere. Uh. No, wait, we're not going to do that one first. Okay, now we're going to move into the karate sphere with the kia. Now, the kia is important to martial arts because it's all about exhalation of breath, uh, really trying to bah, put a whole lot of energy into it. They say that you add like 10% power when you kia. And that makes sense. You, you really like tighten up your core. What I always teach the kids, you guys don't care, actually. You put your finger in your stomach, you go like this. And if you do the kia the right way, the stomach moves out, right? That's what I'm trying to get with my kia. Now, with that being said, there's a little bit of cringiness that comes with the kia. Yeah, uh, shut your mouth, Seth. Um, this would usually be the part where I put in some kids' karate audio of them kiaing. I can't find it anywhere. There's like none. So good job, I guess. Here's this instead. The kia, if it's forced, can just seem unnatural and like gross, like just kind of weird. Like it just doesn't feel right. I'm not a fan of a lot of people's kias, especially if they say like actually say kia, kia. Mm, it kind of yells kids karate in my opinion. We're gonna give the kia a D. Whew. Man, that doesn't feel good. That's I almost feel like that's sacrilege a little bit. Could you see that? Maybe not entirely, but definitely a little bit. Now, the haya or the aya, whatever you want to call it. I personally like an aya, but anyway. So this is the like cousin of the kia, right? You've got the kia that like definitely starts with the kia, right? And then there's the aya, which has a little more like girthiness to it. You know what I mean? When I think of the aya, I think of like three ninjas, the high noon Omega mega mountain one. <laughs> Where they're just like, ay -ah, ay -ah, whoosh, whoosh, ay -ah, whoosh, whoosh, ay -ah, right? All those super, super obvious, like, I am kicking you or punching you, ay -ahs. Very important to training, I think. I think these provide much more value than the kias because coolness. But anyway, I'm going to say the hi is up there, or the ay -ah, whatever you want to call it. B tier to go along with the break fall is the ay -ah. Hey, hon, can you hear me? Kia! Right? And at B, we're gonna have the Aya! Right? Like a little more, uh, I pr I'm probably popping these microphones to death. But to go along with that, we're gonna kind of stay on the same route. Any singular sound that Bruce Lee has made or has been made for Bruce Lee, you gotta understand that a lot of those movies, those definitely weren't his sounds. <laughs> The, the famous, what does Bruce Lee order from a restaurant? What? You know? 
water. Bruce Lee's sounds are easily some of the most iconic things to have happened in the world of martial arts soundery. Um, a lot of people take issue with like the kung foolishness of martial arts when it comes to the movies, but I think that this is what shaped pretty much a martial arts generation to become way more popularized. So Bruce Lee is going to be up in the A tier when it comes to pretty much any sound. The sound of the timer. This one's going to be a hard one to rank because, uh, frankly, it's good and it's bad. It can be the best thing you hear all day and it can be the worst thing. Like, you could be about to start a round of sparring. Cool. Fun. You could be about to start a round of conditioning. Oh, okay, I hate my life. Or it could be the end of the round. It could be 30 seconds left where it means like maybe you're getting beat up. You got 30 seconds left to get beat up. That kind of sucks. End of the round. Oh, great. I'm done. Sweet. So timer's an up and down one, and the only way to grade an up and down one, it's got to be a C. Like, there's no other place to put it other than C. It could be S tier, or it could be F tier, all depending on so many things. So the next one we're going to do is the bing, bang, bong, or onomatopoeias in general. Pretty much being like, bang, pow, pop, king, patow, bang, whoop. Or, I don't know what that whoop one was, I guess. Boom, boom, bang. Boom, boom, bang. I do this all the time. I know Mike does this all the time. Pretty much all the best teachers do this. And it's not so much what? as, like, when you're actually sparring and I'm like, bang, pow, pop. Like, I'm actually hitting people. But when you're showing it, I don't know why. It makes your technique, like, probably 36 to 37% better just by giving them, like, a... Bang, boom, bow, got it? You understand it now, right? If you didn't get the upper hook cross, you probably do now. You're welcome. You can Venmo me if you want, if you feel like you need to for that lesson. Pretty much think if like the Batman sound effect cartoon text came to life. These are these coaches, like the coaches that are probably watch way too much Batman as a kid, actually. That might have something to do with it. That would make sense. Honestly, I think I don't know anybody who teaches with bing, bang, bongs and is bad. I don't think it I don't think it's possible. So I'm gonna give it B tier. It's like it's a good environment that you're in. It's not like, oh, every time I hear it, it makes my ears tingle, you know? But it's not a bad thing. Okay. Now I, you're probably wondering what this one is, and I'll give you a second to guess. Go ahead. So maybe you're doing jumping jacks to warm up. Maybe you're doing jump ropes. Maybe you're like rolling and they get you in a position and they're not ideal. Probably the worst thing that can happen to you in martial arts, unless it's a strategic advantage. However, it's very rarely a strategic advantage. It's kind of bad for both parties. It's either embarrassing or it stinks and your partner farted on you. There's no really good way to like make this seem like a good thing. Actually, unless it's your friend and you're across the room and you heard it then it's a good thing. But for the most part, the is not the best. Uh, we're going to give it E tier as far as the sound goes. It's not the best one. It's kind of bad. Also under this category, you could have like the mid round burps where you're sparring and you're doing mitt work and you're just so gassed and this, because you're like inhaling air, you get like one of those harsh, like real throaty burps. Super unfortunate. You never want to have that happen. The boat. It's going to go into E tier. Okay, now we have the moan. And I, uh, not like that. The moan is what I'm talking about when you get hit in the stomach and all of the air and a little bit of your soul <laughs> releases out of your body. <laughs> and it's just like a, uh, like you get hit with like a knee and you just, uh, good one. That was awesome. Good job. Proud of you. No really great way to pull it off either. Like, have you ever been in sparring and you got hit and you made a sound that you didn't even know you had in you? Like a... <laughs> like it surprises you a bit. And then you either have to address it and be like, that was weird, huh? Did you hear that? Or you just like, I guess, let it play out and hope that they'd never say anything to anyone. Moan's a bad one. The moan's unfortunate. However, it can be a good notification of like you actually doing something right. Like I, get, I hit somebody in the body, bong! And then they go, I <laughs> like the grape lady. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the, the grape lady? It's an amazing representation of the, the moment. Like the, 
So good. Oh my gosh. Pretty much. Um, so the moan, funny to hear. You can always like feel it a little bit as soon as you hear somebody else doing it. Um, man, I have a hard time about if I want to give this one a good grade or a bad grade. I think it's got to go into the C category because it's like, if it happens to you, that sucks. Sorry. You got to move gems now. But if it happens to somebody else, if you did it to somebody else, you know, it's up in the S tier. I'm going to give it a C tier. C tier feels right. And you want to know what the most quiet sound in all of martial arts is? I know what you're thinking. Maybe it's like ninjutsu. No, false. It's the Hydra Gun, the sponsor of today's video. So Hydra Gun is an awesome tool for helping me get my knots out. I work with kids a lot, so it's like a whole lot of just like, hey, don't pick your nose. No, you can't go to the bathroom for the fourth time in this 45 minute class. So it's just like a whole lot of neck tension. And the Hydra Gun is an awesome tool to help me. If you guys have ever used one of these guns before, you know just how necessary they are. And if you've used a Hydra Gun, you realize how it stands apart. It feels like it should be heavy, but at the same time, it's light enough for you to be able to reach in different places and really hit everything you need to and put pressure behind it. Oh, it feels so right. Coming from a martial arts background so many of us have like this forward hunch we do a whole bunch of like chest forwards movements but we don't really do a lot to, to correct it and the hydro gun's got to be one of the better ways to correct it because you can get those knots out you can loosen everything up back there so your shoulders can sit in the right position and they've got a whole bunch of different tools they've got like four or five different gadgets and gizmos to help you reach different spots have different purposes like this one right here you're back final what this one I call is the uh, the the giver of pain. Uh. And the coolest part about this is if you buy right now with this code right here, S Seth fifty, you get fifty dollars off your purchase, which is honestly a pretty hefty amount. They said it, and I was like, oh dang, that's pretty cool. Um, and then also a percentage of it goes to me because I'm an affiliate. It helps out the channel and it helps out your back, healthy back, healthy channel. Best of both worlds, really. And thank you to Hydra Gun for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the Ui, or I'm not the best at it. You know, I haven't trained in Thailand, so I haven't gotten to like hear the authentic sounds with the accent and everything. Uh, Shane Faison did a video that was about sounds recently, and he did a great job on explaining why, when, how to make sounds that have to do with boxing and Muay Thai in particular. <laughs> Hearing him do it, it just, it just sounds right. This, in my opinion, is like a notification of, wow, that was pretty sick, or gotcha, or you got me. It's pretty much like a verification, in my opinion. That's kind of like what I've gotten out of it. It's a verification of something. This is a good feeling. You kick somebody in the head, you get one of these, it feels right, okay? You get dumped in class, everybody yells it, and you're like, dang, everybody saw that. It still feels good. It's got like a camaraderie to it. I think, I think Ui's A tier. Ui. Uh, okay, so now, but slightly different, the ship Ui. Again, I'm not gonna make the sounds right. I'll have somebody else do it in the video so you can hear it. But now this one, in my opinion, is like a super Ui. Okay, so imagine. This one, maybe I hit like a tornado kick or something, kick somebody in the head, not really usual for Muay Thai, but you might get yourself one of these. And then also it's a good thing to like help you with your breathing. Like I mentioned, if you want to go to learn more about that, Shane Faison's got a great video on sound breathing and how you can really exhale into stuff using different sounds and it's kind of the purpose. But man, this one sounds pretty cool. It's different than the Ui. It's like a super but I don't, I don't think I can give it an S tier. I don't think we're ready for S tier just yet. They, they do come very far and in, in between, which kind of gives it like a nice, it has a lot of value to it because of that. I don't know, there's just, I'm not there yet. Maybe, maybe maybe it'll bump its way up, we'll see. The next one we're gonna talk about is the is the hiss, which is, in my opinion, just the sound. It's like the boxing sound. Where hus, hus, hus. You know, it's one of those. It's when you have like that, at the end of your breath, it kind of just means that you're clenching your mouth. 
and breathing out. The hiss is important. The hiss is a good, the hiss and the key are the same thing. They're the same thing. And sort of the same thing as the ooey a little bit, but not so much. Same thing as the Hayatu. It's pretty much just a way to use your core a little bit. Huss, huss. Kind of utilize more muscles and make sure that you're exhaling with your shots. Um, Very average, in my opinion. Just like super mediocre, whatever. Kind of, it's there. You know, it's there. There's different different ways that people can do the hiss. Like you'll get some, what? Now that's a cool one. Oh, I should have added that. Let me put it right now. Okay, so last minute introduction. We've got the wah. Now this is like a power shot on the bag. You're going ba 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 bang wah. And you really throw one hard. Ba 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 wah. Right? That's that's a good one. If you hear that along with a good like bag shake. Ba, 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 ba. You hear the chain on the bag? Wah! 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 Mario! <laughs> this one's A tier. The wah. It's A tier. It's way up there. You know what, actually? Yeah, the wah S tier. Critical to all martial arts. Wah! Wah, 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 wah! Yeah, that, that one's right. Now, the competition scream. There's one specific video that you're probably thinking about as soon as I say this thing. It's mostly like a karate thing. You'll get it in Taekwondo too. Um, a little bit of like Kung Fu tournaments, stuff like that. You don't really hear it anywhere else. The worst ones are in Kata, but as of recent, we've gotten to this point in like WKF karate especially, where it's like a, you you get your point and then you just like scream bloody murder and then run away with your knees high. It's like a pow. <laughs> just don't do that. I don't care if you didn't get the point because you didn't scream. It's doing martial arts a disservice. Um, yeah, it's just super unfortunate. The competition scream, Easily the quickest F tier I will ever give is the competition scream. Easily the quickest F tier. Easily. Ugh, it just grinds my gears. Now, we've got os or osu or os, whatever, however you say it. Started out as like a, sort of like a verification, sort of like a confirmation, I think. I could be wrong. Nobody really knows what it means. Everybody will comment and be like, oh, actually, os means uh, to give, or I don't know, something. I'm not a fan. It's like taken over the BJJ world. Um, I think a whole lot of people say it just for the sake of sounding cool at this point. Uh, and I'm way cooler than that. I don't say us because everyone else says it and it makes me better. Uh, <laughs> but it, I mean, us, like I get the history behind it. I get that it was important, but now it's just like, Man, I just can't. D tier. D tier for the us. Us. Now we've got the pad pop. The pad pop. A lot of people like the pad pop. And so do I. It's uh, it's my favorite sound in all the martial arts. You're doing mitt work. Pop. You have like a nice pair of, like maybe you shelled out for the leather gloves. Pop. 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 <laughs> Magnifique, right? The pad pop is amazing. It goes along with the wah really well. And it's going to go S tier with that wah. Pa, pa, pa. Oh, oh. Also, the pad pop that goes along with like MMA gloves on bodies. Like if, as of recent, when you're watching MMA fights and there's not really a crowd, you hear that pop. Oh. <laughs> There's just nothing better than that. Now, everybody has been in this next situation. You're sparring, you're going light, and then all of a sudden you hear the sound. Everybody knows the sound. You recognize the sound of hard sparring. You start to hear some thumps. You hear that pad pop, but in times where you shouldn't hear pad pop. And you're sparring, and all of a sudden everybody goes like this. 
like everybody sorts of turn around a little bit. You have to like be cautious of not getting punched in the face because maybe your partner's not looking at it. But you're like, bang, bang. If you are sparring and you hear hard sparring, it means that you're probably not the one getting hit by the hard sparring because you're not thinking about the sound of it as you're starting to get swarmed or maybe you go back and forth to somebody. The sound of hard sparring is usually something you hear when you're so, like light sparring. <laughs> I'm going to say hard sparring gets like a, uh, I'm going to say it gets a B tier. Pretty cool. Uh, detrimental if you do it all the time. Not good for your ears or for your head. <laughs> now this last sound that we're going to do is probably the most important sound of all of martial arts. Only the very best, only the most well-known, well-informed, best martial artists in the world have this sound associated with them. It's the keyboard. If you hear a little that goes along with your opinions, you're probably the best martial artist in ever, all time, 100%. You watch Joe Rogan videos too, don't you? A lot of them? Probably. Anyway, Keyboard Warrior definitely gets an F tier. I'll beat up your family. Anyway, guys, that was our tier list. Here's what we've got right here. I think this could be the most productive tier list I've ever made. Uh, sounds are important. Thanks again to Hydragun for sponsoring this video. Remember, if you want $50 off and you want to support the channel, you can get your Hydragun in the link down below with SSeth50. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace. Bang! Good sound right there. <laughs>